Hey kids, firefighter Reed Schultz with the Lakeville Fire Department. I'm a firefighter here at Station One. If you would, I'd like to take you around, show you some other trucks. Come on with me. All right, kids. So Lakeville, we have four fire stations here in Lakeville. We're at station one. Each of our stations has their own set of trucks for different reasons. We're inside of engine one here at station one. These engines are a multi-use vehicle. We have a bunch of different cool tools. Um, this engine here we've had for just a few years, so it's one of our newer ones. We got a lot of cool tools as Jay, Firefighter Jay had described to you guys. We have a lot of cool tools that we get to use here. So. We're inside of the engine here. We've got six seats in this engine, which means we can have six firefighters come in with us in each of these engines. So as firefighters, we need to be really fast when we come onto an emergency. So as Firefighter Jay had described to you guys, we go through a lot of emergency calls and some of those emergencies might be at your house. So we need to be really quick as firefighters. So inside, we have a lot of these tools that can access, that we can get to really, really quick. For instance, uh, one of our emergencies that we go on quite a bit are medical emergencies. Those type of emergencies might be where maybe somebody's having difficulty breathing, maybe somebody hurt themselves really bad, broken arm. You may see a fire truck with firefighters coming to help. We help on a lot of those type of medicals. So right here, we have our medical bag. It's easy for us to get to. We can grab it. We can be right there at your house, ready to help. So a lot of these different tools help us in different capacities. So we got our medical stuff. We also, as we wanna be fast as firefighters, we also have our air packs that are built right into our seats here. So as Firefighter Jay will explain to you, is these things let us breathe in smoky and fire conditions. Those are built right into the seats. So we can get ready, we can get into the truck, and while we are going to the fire emergency, we can put those air packs on. So we got a lot of neat tools all around us ready to go. Just like your vehicles at home that you guys ride in, our fire trucks have seat belts. So each seat has their own seat belt. We wear these when we're going to emergencies, just like you guys do at home to be safe. All right, so now on the outside of the truck, our trucks have a lot of cool tools on the outside, just like the inside. I'm gonna run through some of your tools here that we have. So right up there on top, we have this basket. It's called a Stokes basket. This right here, we can use to help people that are in emergency. If we need to get a person in and out of a tight situation, we can put that person right in and safely get them out. We also have New York Hook here, one of our many tools that we use in those type of emergencies. We also have these cool expandable traffic cones that help us keep us safe when we're out on roads. So all of our trucks have a lot of cool tools and all of these bays have certain tools that we use in certain types. These ones here you guys might have seen before these we use on car accidents. If we need to get somebody that's trapped in a car, we can use these tools. Like these are the cutters. These are like a big pair of scissors. They open hydraulically, open and close, and they can cut big metal objects, help you get out. We got some cool hoses. These are connected to our generators that run our hydraulics, so. Next bay here. So we've got different kinds of fire extinguishers. You guys probably have seen these all around schools and stuff. We carry those on. We use those in small fires, just like you guys would at your house or at school. As Firefighter Jay has explained, or will explain, we have air bottles. These make us and allow us to breathe in fire conditions and smoke conditions. Those will last for about 20 to 30 minutes where we're in an environment. So when those run empty and the fire's still going, we come on out here, we can then replace those bottles and those firefighters can go back in. So all around our trucks, we have all these spare bottles. All right, these are all of our pumps. 
So on our truck right now, before we even hook to a hydrant, this truck actually has 750 gallons of water stored in the truck itself. So when we show up to a fire, we have all of these valves and all these controls that allow us to start flowing water out of that, these hoses before we even connect to a hydrant. Once we connect in, we get all sorts of water we can use for these fires. So fire trucks, we have all sorts of ladders and stuff. This truck, we put ladders in kind of a neat little space up on top. So in order for us to get our ladders down, we just operate these buttons and down come the ladders. We got a couple sets of ladders here for different heights for we can reach way up on top of your roof or if it's inside of a window, that's what we'd use those ladders for. All right, so just like our ladder stored up on top, all of our fire hoses are also stored up on top. So if you ever see a fire truck coming down the road and you wonder what's underneath these black tarps, oh, they're all of our fire hoses. So as you can see, we've got different size hoses for different reasons. Smaller hoses make it easier for us to get inside the house, whereas bigger hoses will allow us to flow more water for bigger fires. The yellow hoses, these hoses right here, are what we connect to the hydrants, so they're really big. Those are all of our hoses. All right, on this side of the truck, we got more tools. We've got big fans that can exhaust a lot of the smoke to clear buildings. Got lots of lights, lots of extension cords. We've got more bottles like I talked about earlier. All these have bottles in them. We've got rescue ropes. If we need ropes for any kind of rescue, whether that's off of roofs or into water, whatever, those are all that life jackets. You guys might have seen your dad or mom using some of these tools. These are chainsaws and metal cutting saws that allow us to cut into wood and metal chain link fences. We got lots of axes and shovels and all sorts of stuff like that. As we come to the front, the driver, also known as our engineers, drive it also as the same people that run the pumps when we're on fire. So as the firefighters are all getting ready to go in, the driver will engage the pumps, run back and run all of those cool levers and controls. So that concludes, that's our engine one. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to show you guys one of our engines.